Welcome everybody to my Minecraft Survival Let's Play series. My name is Rowdy. Thank you very much for joining me. And uh, today, as you can see, I've begun construction on something. Um, and that something is an idea that came from that Weblin kid, I believe, one of our subscribers. And uh, he suggested to build... Uh, a warehouse, a giant warehouse out in the courtyard area, which I think is a sweet idea, and I've been meaning to do that. I think I might have discussed something similar with someone else as well at some stage, but um, yeah, he he reminded me, so that was really really cool. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to take his suggestion and just uh, add my own little twist to it. Um, and what I'm currently doing, I've dug out this this sort of space. Um, here, next to next to the house, and what what we're going to do is actually knock a hole in that wall. We're going to take that wall out, and um, oh, nuts, <laughs> and uh, basically build it out into here. Uh, let's let's just go in the back door here, and uh, I will show you what I mean. So basically, what we'll do this will be our front office sort of thing, right? So when you want to go into the warehouse to get something, you'll come in through here. So we'll keep all this, and. Yeah, settle down doors and then so all this this here will be gone I've been already um, rearranging things as you can see it's a little bit different uh, moving chests around and then we'll walk into the warehouse there'll be a cellar so we'll be able to go downstairs down one level uh, the ground level and then possibly one or two stories above that so that's the thinking um, and the walls I was trying to think of what to use that's what I'd already started to try and try out a few different things and you know like I'd been digging up oh, so many cracked bricks cracked stone bricks and uh, mossy stone bricks and stone brick blocks themselves from the stronghold and I thought you know what let's use them let's use them we've got, the, we've got a whole heap of these things so uh, they look pretty cool I like them um, I've just been trying to put them in a random order. I just want to quickly show you down here as well. I've been um, slowly adding the things down here. A lot of these chests are just like for random things like some wood and iron bars and doors and that sort of stuff. Um, and I'm pretty sure we've got nothing in here. Nope. So what I'm going to show you is just down here. I've done a little bit more sort of finishing off work um, to our renovations. Um, I've put some nether brick stairs at the top of the portal there. Which I think that just uh, makes it look, look a little sweeter. I've cle started clearing our area back here. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to put like a secret doorway um, into another little hiding room in here. I don't know what I'll store back there or do. I don't, I'm not entirely sure, but it's just an idea that I thought of. I don't know. I don't know if I'll actually do it or not. But, um, I think it'll be all right. Um, done the ceiling there in the stone bricks. Also, um, I've done the stone slabs all the way through here, and cobblestone walls and stone bricks on the roof. I'll probably. I may try and break it up with some more of the uh, mossy stone bricks and the cracked stone bricks. Um, I hadn't thought of that while I was making this actually, so I'll probably go through and do that at some stage and maybe put a painting or two or something, some wooden support beams for the walls and the ceiling, something like that. This wall here is just like a retaining wall, um, just to keep, keep the uh, dirt and whatnot from spilling into the front of the mine. I'll also probably put some uh, iron bars around somewhere just to sort of signify a bit of an ent proper entrance. Um, and then, yeah, I've just done the steps up here as well. So that's pretty much uh, pretty much all I've, all I've done really in the off-camera, apart from digging an awful, <laughs> an awfully large amount of uh, stones and rocks and bricks and all that sort of junk up from... Actually, we won't need that there. Uh, where do we put this one? Put this one here, one of those, and then put just it. Oh, okay. So the slabs at that level. All right. <clears throat> so let's um, let's get some mossy stone bricks. They look really sweet. I, I'm so glad that we found this. I had no idea. I honestly had no idea that these brick textures existed. So that was so sweet. I was so happy when I found them. Um, but yeah, my butt got totally owned in the nether, I'm sure, if you've watched the last episode. 
You would have seen that uh, within about, uh, how long did it take? Maybe three seconds, the dragon kicked me off the um, spawning platform, <laughs> so, and I died. So that was pretty funny. Uh, I had a bit of a laugh. But uh, we will have to add, I think, two deaths another time. Uh, what ended up killing me? Some Enderman, I think, killed me? So I don't know how I'm going to theme that. We're, we're just going to have to theme the uh, tomb as uh, the end. That, that'll be our theme, our overall theme. And, um, I don't know. We'll, we'll work something out, no doubt. Um, what have I got? Normal, normal blocks. Let's do, we'll do some normal blocks. Now, yeah, how high are we getting here? Okay. We're getting not too bad. Um, put another one there. Do that. And then I'm just going to, um, uh, hmm. Do this and this. All right, so what I'm going to do while I do these walls and uh, get them up high enough, I'm going to take away the top of this roof also. Um, so I'm going to kick it into fast forward mode so we can, um, you know, speed up uh, the time frame of our video a little bit so I can get a whole bunch done in this episode. So yeah, I will catch you guys in the other side of this fast forward. Buddy, we are back. As you can see, we are rather high now, <laughs> far out. This has gotten uh, quite a lot larger than what I initially imagined it to be. Um, we might end up taking this down a level. If I can get down without killing myself. That's Where's my ladders at? Oh, man. Okay. See if we can do this. Shift. I'm going to get... Place some ladders down there. Did I get it? Oh, there we go. All right, sweet. So that's good. We've got a ladder to the top at the very least. Now I need to get back and take a take a bit of a look at what exactly is going on here. Let's uh, let's do that. It's flaming huge. Yeah, I th I think one layer of four. Uh, is going to have to come off of that, possibly. Maybe not. I'm definitely going to be putting windows in as well, by the way. Um, yeah, that's not just going to be a giant box like like that. Um, hmm. All in all, I think it's come up fairly decently as far as just for initial... Man, that is huge. Hmm. Initial design purposes, I guess. So we're going to have a cellar and then one, two, possibly three levels, or we'll turn that top level into the roof, have a um, 
an A-frame roof up the top there. That might be pretty cool. Then we can have nice gardens along here and so on. That would be all right. Um, have we got any dirt? No. All right, that, not to worry. Well, I think that's pretty cool. Let's uh, let's go in here now. Whoop, close that door. So this is a fairly large area. I'm going to use birch wood for the flooring. So let's go and grab some birch wood, and we can put some of this other stuff back for the moment. Although, probably should hang on to some, eh? Uh, let's have a look. Let's grab some stone bricks. Let's keep two of each thing, um, just in case we need it. Actually, I can leave that like so. Put these steps there and there. They can stay there. Let's put, um, put those there. Ladders. What am I going to do with them? Oh yeah, that's what I was doing. Putting that back. Putting that back. Okay. So, what did I say I was going? Birch. That's right. Birch wood. I think here. Yep. One, two. Let's grab three stacks of 60 fold. Turn them into a lot of birch wood because I think we're going to be needing a bunch. But um, actually, two stacks might be enough. Who knows? So we don't need to turn it all into. Whoops. Into. Um, planks just yet right so let's actually let's save ourselves having to jump through there every damn time and let's just dig this away and uh, dig that one away and smash these windows always fun all right cool all right so that's cool got that done um now let's get that out of there. Put this down for the moment. Whoops. I'll fix that up shortly. Just gonna try and get as much of this flooring down as I possibly can. I really like this birchwood texture. Okay, that's driving me nuts. I've changed my mind. I'm gonna take it down. There we go. Yeah, this texture on this flooring is really cool. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, whoop. All right, let's uh, top up our wood. Sweet. So yeah, this is um, something I've been wanting to work on for a long time, really, this sort of thing. Um, this has turned out to be a lot bigger than what I was initially thinking it would be. Something's going to spawn up there for sure. Let's um, do that. Hopefully that stops anything oh well that was rubbish but <laughs> hopefully that stops anything from spawning up there but yeah it's been one of those things that you know you think oh yeah i'll be able to get to this and get to that and then you know 20 episodes fly past and it's just amazing uh this is what episode 24 um which is just you know i thought <laughs> i thought i'd have time to do so much more by now it's it's crazy but i've thoroughly enjoyed it i've been to the end which is new for me um so that was really cool um, I enjoyed that even though I did die straight away. I knew I was going to die because I had to get back, but um, yeah, I was hoping not to die within the first three seconds of going to the end. Um, we've explored the nether, found a nether fortress, which was so cool, and been so lucky with two blaze spawners down there. Uh, what else have we done of note? You know, a lot of mining, fine, enchanting some sweet um, tools and weapons and our armor. And digging the actually making the um, the crypt was a favorite as well. I really enjoyed that. That turned out super well. I just have to finish it off and make sure that I get enough done there. Now, hmm, I'm unsure how to have like obviously we're going to have big storage areas, but what I was thinking was if we can get our um, Mine carts coming from the mine. And this is just for our basic, our basic materials from the mine up here. Although the trouble is, if you have that, that'll bring all of our stone and everything. If we want to cook anything up down there, we can't. Hmm. I'm going to think on that one now. Now that I've, you know, had a chance to see what I'm doing. So one, two, three, four, 
Oh, we so I've misjudged what I've wanted to do. I want that level. Dang it. Let's get rid of that. So we want this level here to be our next level. That way we will be able to put like a chest on the bottom, like so, and then a chest there and still open them. Um, that's that's the idea. Then we can just have rows of them all the way along and then like in the middle as well, uh, several rows as we go. Um, hmm, where will I put... Uh, you know what, let's... I got stairs on me? I do have, so I've just got some of these. I'll use these for the moment, these nether brick stairs. Um, put that there, and that there, and the wood, of course, would be in my road. So I don't know where I'm... Oh, man, really? Where I'm going to put... Um, put the, the stairwell, I guess, up to the different levels, but um, for the moment, we'll just do this. Let's just make this a little safer, I think. I wonder if we could just do it straight and just keep going all the way up. That might be pretty cool. Let's let's do this. And every four, uh, four block levels you could just jump on. Alright, so that's cool. Now let's get some more birch wood. So that's one, two, three, four high. So we'd want this level here. Get rid of that in a second. Um, let's just put some blocks out here so we get a bit of an idea as to the definitions and the boundaries that we're working with. Cool, all right. So I think you can sort of see the idea that I'm going for. I don't I think I might go too wide there because that's um, it's pretty narrow. Although you know, for saving space, I guess it's a warehouse, isn't it? It might um, might be ideal. Hmm. And then can we put that there? No. That's as close as we can go. All right. So I'm liking that. I'm liking that. That's 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 something. Um, hmm. I'm going to need an awful lot more birch wood than what I thought. Might have been right the first time. All right. So let's uh, let's get the floors done for the rest of this. Oop! Don't fall off. Remember to put torches down so nothing spawns while we're doing this. So it's still night time. Oh man, I am shocking with placing these blocks today. Or well, tonight rather. It's uh, night time where I am at the moment. I find it's a nice quiet time to record. You can relax and just uh, try and focus anyway. Sometimes I'm not so good at focusing on what I'm, <laughs> what I'm trying to do. But, uh, you know, it's... Uh, that's a work in progress, getting better at that sort of thing. Now, let's continue. Oh yeah, that's right, I was going to mention as well, um, I was invited onto a podcast called The Dog Pod, which is run by um, the administrators and mods over at uh, dogcraft.net, which I'm a part of, that's a, the official Rendog fan site. Um, so yeah, they invited me to, to jump on and... and um, join in their podcast which is really awesome had a, such a, a great time um it's the first time i've ever been on that sort of a podcast so that was really sweet um so yeah i'll put a link to that in the description below the video um so i totally encourage you to go and check that out give a sub and leave a like um that would be much appreciated and they put in a lot of hard work to it they released one a week um so Burgo and Razor and Ivan or Ivan, really. But uh, you know, that's a Russian sounding name. I love it, Ivan. <laughs> so um, that was that's really cool. Uh, what else? What other? Uh, let me know in the comments what um, what other series you've been enjoying. I've been really enjoying um, uh, Mud Dog's 
Primeval Planet series. They finally got some him and Harley have finally got some baby dinosaurs, which is so cool. They're really cute. That's awesome. And uh, check out, I think, the fifth episode. Um, pretty sure it's the fifth one. It might be the f second part of the fourth one. I'm not sure. Either one of those two. Harley shoots uh, <laughs> shoots mud in the in the head with an arrow and kills him, which is pretty funny. So look out for that. Um, he does get some sort of revenge. He doesn't kill her, but uh, he does he does shoot her with a arrow that's on fire, which was pretty funny. That scared her. So that was that was pretty cool. I like that. Um, that series has been really fun. I've been really enjoying that. Burgo's uh, Feed the Beast series is really cool. I haven't watched all of his videos because I have been flat out busy, but um, so I've got a couple to catch up on. But I'm really enjoying that series. He's a, a um, Oh man, what's with my placement today? It's a really fun uh, YouTube commentator to listen to, and of course, Rendog. You know, he's he's the one. He's uh, been a little busy in the last week or so, but um, you know, he's getting his videos back out regularly now. I think so. Um, that's really awesome. He's so cool, and I'm um, absolutely like. I mean, I obviously love his Minecraft series. That's that's a given, you know. But um, his StarCraft series, so good. I, I'm, you know, I bought the game because I was watching that. It's just, um, <laughs> burn, fella, I'm burn. <laughs> it was just so cool, you know. Um, hmm, I don't know if I'll keep this. Two layers and a basement might be enough, you know. So I might uh, take this away. But yeah, that it is really, really awesome. And it's such a, a great game to watch. Like, I'd never really watched... Like, I'd played um, real-time strategy games before, um, obviously, like, I think the fir very first PC game that I ever bought myself was Age of Empires, the original one, and I absolutely, I still to this day love this game, and I, I've even jumped on recently and played some, which was um, still really, really fun. Holds up very well. Um, so, yeah, I remember watching some StarCraft, the first game, so I know about it, but... I never really got into, I haven't been big into sort of PC gaming much. Um, I've been mostly into Xbox gaming and, and like, obviously I play Minecraft on PC and a few other games and stuff. Um, Star Wars, The Old Republic I played a fair bit, which was, um, which is an MMO. Um, it's very cool, but uh, there's parts, I would love it if they would just like strip away all the grindy parts in the game and... Um, then just have like all the story they've got some so sweet awesome story sequences in that game for they have eight classes the last time i was playing it and each class like you can have a um, bounty hunter or a trooper or a jedi or sith and like all these different classes they have all um their own unique storylines which is so so cool and um I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. It's just the bits where you have to go and grind out killing some enemies or doing, you know, boring side missions or something like that that I didn't like so much. But um, other than that, it's been really good. It's gone free to play as well, I think. So um, I would rec recommend <clears throat> checking that out. Excuse me. If you like MMOs, it is very fun. Um, well, the last time I played it anyway. Like I said, I haven't played it for a little while now, but um, that's been one of my favorites. And just have some tea, which is awesome. Um, trying out some green tea. It's uh, Usually I'm all over coffee, but I thought I'd have a bit of a change tonight. Now, um, what was I thinking of? Oh yes, we've got, need to put a, a roof on, even if it's... Now I want to... Hmm. Hmm. This little bit over here is going to make things annoying oh yes i've got a oh man what am i doing i've got to go out to here i'm such a noob all right let me just try and get down here without dying sweet all right now what i might do i'll, I'll finish off this little bit and um bring you back after this short break i'll see you in a moment welcome back everybody uh i have been a little, a little busy finishing off that uh, side there. Also, I have dug out our basement. Um, so let's go and check out the progress. 
I'll just go in here. All right, so it's coming together pretty well. I've been, I've moved a few chests in here um, just to store, not in there, in here like food and junk like that, some other other stuff. I've also, this is going to be our walkway down uh, to the basement. So I um, put these iron bars around. I think they look pretty sweet. I think they just, you know, just separate this area pretty well. Uh, down here now, this this level is going to be where our floor is. I haven't put that in. I wanted to do that on camera. Um, I would have gone back into here, but the roof of where like the enchanting area is down there comes up to this or to that level, I think there, and it just yeah, it just looked pretty ordinary because it's um stone brick blocks instead of cobblestone. So I don't know, it just didn't sort of suit well. Um, so, oh yes, that's right, I've got to get some wood. Okay, I've actually been in between, <laughs> in between uh, the break there, I actually went on an epic uh, journey to collect a whole bunch of um, clay and make bricks and that sort of stuff. I also thought, um, you know, why don't we carry an ender chest with us at all times? That way we can also always access what's in here. And now, while obviously when we're building it's not that big a deal, but... Um, when we're out adventuring, if we have an ender chest, we can just put it down and then get access to all the good stuff that I've stored in here. So if we have a look, um, I've been put a bunch of arrows, a bucket of water. I meant to make another one, actually. Um, a pickaxe, crafting table, furnace, bed. Like, just in case any situation I end up in, I might need something. So I'm like, you know, food. Um, I've got enough obsidian to make a end portal if I need to. Um eyes of the ender another ender chest because when you break or at least i found when i break the uh, ender chest it destroyed the like i got all the obsidian back but i didn't get the eye of the ender back so i've got enough obsidian to make another one in there i'm always going to keep an ender chest in the ender chest if you know what i'm saying <laughs> so um i will always be able to get access to it. i've got some coal some iron some cobblestone some wood uh, that sort of stuff torches just in case, yeah, anything goes wrong, we can always access it. Um, I'm not really going to be using it to transport stuff, um, just because we don't really need to anymore. Okay, so we're getting some birch wood uh, to do our flooring. Let's grab all this. Okay, sweet. Oh, yes, I'll take you up the top as well in a moment um, and show you. Hey, what the jazz? Where's this guy at? I heard him. Where the heck would that come from? Is he out here? Oh no, he's over. What the? What the hell, buddy? What are you doing in my basement? Get the get the hell out of here! What's going on down here? It doesn't seem that dark. I just heard another guy. What the? Oh yeah, I don't have my um my map on or any of the other other things on because we had an update <laughs> in between, like uh, when I took a break, there was an update. So I was like, oh yeah, update. And then as soon as I clicked the update button, I was like, oh darn it, it's going to break all my stuff and I'm going to have to wait for them to get fixed. So we have dispensed with them for the moment. So that's all, all good. Now, what the heck was going on? Where did he come from? Where's his buddy? I thought I heard another one floating around somewhere. Let's see if we can see anything out here. Nope. Very unusual. Oh, well, we're up the top anyway. So yeah, I've just extended out over the top of the um, the house where the house is. I don't know. I think this is <laughs> ridiculously high. But um, hmm, I'm not sure if I'm going to stick with the A-frame designed for the roof. I don't know if I like how close we are to this um, spire, but you know, it, uh, it might work. It might work. We'll just see. It does sort of impede on the um, view a little, doesn't it? Hmm. Let's go down and have a look. I didn't actually think of that. Let's quickly just run out the front here. Oh, I'm stuck on the fence. Come on. What the? Hmm. You know what? I think it's fine. We're going to be coming in this way sort of thing. 
Um, all this dirt will be cleared out, so we'll be able to see fine. And I think I think that's that's good. Oh, that, hmm. Yeah, no, that's that's okay. Whoa. What the heck? That was an epic lag spike. Sorry about that. Um, not sure what happened there. That was crazy. Alright, so let's go and lay our floor down um, and get that sorted out. Uh, get rid of this junk too. Ugh, gross. We've got our flooring. That's not our flooring, that's our stake. I've put in the corners, as you can see, I've put these uh, metal iron bars as well, just as sort of like, uh, I guess, supports down here. And it's just to add a little bit. Um, oh yeah, I cannot <laughs> take this up as well because this right here is... Um, let me just dig... Have I got... Oh no, I haven't. Hang on. Can I dig this one out? Oh yeah, there we go. So you see that um, goes down to the floor and then the secret doorway is just down that way. Well, not really a secret, but you know what I mean. Hidden doorway, I guess it's the way to call it. So um, yeah, I just figured... Uh, We'll just leave this little corner like so. Won't be that big a deal. Okay. What do I hear another? Where the heck are these things? Oh, I know where they are. They're um in in the ravine that's just um out that way somewhere, making all that noise. I'm gonna have to actually go down there one day. I still haven't really been down there. Um, I don't know, this seems to be getting a fair bit of lag, I'm not sure what's up. Hopefully it's um, not in the recording. But anyway, not to worry. Um, yeah, this is coming together pretty well, I'm pretty pretty happy. I've put these um, nether, nether brick block supports in the walls. I don't know if I'm going to keep that, but I just wanted to see what it would look like if I broke up the cobblestone walls just a little bit with something else. Um, I think it, uh, hmm. it's not too bad. I guess maybe once we get chests and, and decorate down here, um, that'll look a little better, I guess. But, um, you know, for the moment we're going to leave that. What we'll do now, actually, something I've been meaning to do for quite a while is make some paintings. Um, we have not been... Let's get some music cracking. That's good. There are other music disc is in there. Um, how are we looking? I wanted to make something out of iron. Oh, a bucket. That's right. Better get ourselves a bucket. I don't want to set myself on fire. Two, three. Oh yeah, I went to the the um, nether in the break as well. <laughs> I was like, man, waiting for things to be fixed so that I could uh, use my Minecraft again. And um... oh, hello, some more cactus. So yeah, I went to I went to the Nether and let's have a quick look at what I got. Um, I got a bunch more quartz. I actually found that the Nether Fortress, the part that we'd explored, is like only maybe half of it. I found this other area that I will take you guys back to. Um, I've got some more glowstone, of course, which is pretty awesome. Magma cream, and I think. I had some blaze rod and gas tears, extra gas tears as well. Uh, so let's. Where is my wool? What the. Uh, here we go. Let's just grab that many. That'll do for now. I need some sticks. 34. I thought I had more than that. Not to worry. Okay, so wait, let's make some paintings. Um, how many can we make from these? Four. That's not really. That's not acceptable. We want, we want more than four. Let's make some sticks. Boom. That's 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 a lot of sticks. Okay, that'll do. Come on. There we go. Eight. So that's twelve paintings. So yeah, that that should do us for a little while. Let's let's put this wall back. Oh man, what is wrong with me? I keep going to the wrong thing. Put that there. So we are starting to get things organised a little bit around here. Um, let's go up here. I think this wall needs something. Not that. What the? No, no, you're not escaping. No, no, thank you. Uh, ooh, that's uh, that's pretty cool actually. I like that. That's that's gonna stay there. Okay, sweet. 
So uh, let's let's go and throw one down here in the cellar. Um, what the heck? It's huge. You know. Hmm. I guess that's a map of something. Can't really tell, but I'm gonna leave. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave that. I'm gonna leave that. Let's um let's try for something here. That sort of picture I want um up in my room. I think so. I'm gonna take that off off there. Um, yeah, up in the keep when eventually. Oh, I probably should have left that. Actually, oh, that's cool. I like that. That's that's. That gives a bit more of a uh, dungeon type feel. Actually, what we should do too is put glowstone where all these torches are. I think, um... Get rid of that. Uh, nah. What is that? I'm gonna... I think that, that goes alright there, actually. Let's put that torch there. Hello, can I hit these torches without... Sweet, I can. I'll just move the torches to the side here. Didn't want to destroy the painting. All right. Um, even though it looks a bit, what would be really awesome if this was like a map of the area. Um, I know you can put maps in item frames, um, but you might actually try doing something like that at some stage. That would be really cool. Um, glowstone. Let's get some glowstone. Throw that in there. Uh, here we go. Got a whole heap. I think I have another stack over in uh, the the castle as well, which is pretty cool. Uh, got a lot of glowstone, which is um, I quite like it. So it's always a good thing. Let's dig that out. Put that there. Uh, I don't know, you know, it, I don't want it at that level. Uh, this painting, take that. Did that give me four? No, of course not. That's annoying. I hate that how it doesn't do that. Uh, let's get out cobble. Put that there. There we go. So we will also hmm put it here. Boom. I love I love this glowstone texture. What the heck? Oh, you can see the edge of um, the paintings item frame thing. That's cool. Never noticed that before. All right, that looks cool. I like that. I like that. Let's uh, let's put this here. So in my imagination, <laughs> I was thinking that we would turn this into some sort of like a, a wine cellar or something. Only, whoops, can hear some some monsters out there. Only thing is, I'm unsure. Um, how to make it look like that. So if anyone has any ideas on like wine barrels, what to make wine barrels out of that sort of thing, uh, that would be much appreciated. So um, I'll have to have a think about that and maybe do some experimentation and see see what I can come up with. But um, yeah, if anybody else can get some sweet ideas, that would be great. Now, what the heck? What is going on here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well... Because this thing is at a weird height, I'm just going to block it off. Boom. Done. A little strange, but, you know, what can you do? Uh, these two here, let's turn this into... Oh, yeah, see, there's there's the um, stone brick thing. Now, put that there. Oh, I left a crafting table in there. Ah, oh, darn it. Oh, well, let's, let's stay in there. All right, that looks pretty cool. Oh, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, except maybe these, maybe they need to be double. Have I got any? No, I haven't. Put them like two, two wide. Hmm. I'll think about that one. Um. Well, why should I put a light here? Maybe. Hmm. Maybe there. Oh, hello. It's dark outside. Put that there. Take that. It's pretty cool. We come down here. Wonder if we need another one. No. Should be fine. Alright, so let's leave that for now. That seems pretty good. 
Uh, oh, yes, yes, that's what I meant to... Ooh, I nearly got trapped in my door. That's what I meant to discuss too. I, I chatted with a, a couple of people on dogcraft.net um, in my thread there where I post my videos and just about where I'm thinking of heading for the next, I don't know, five to ten episodes or so. Um, I really want to get things finished around here. Like there's a lot of started projects. Um, ow. <laughs> there's a lot of started projects around here that I want to get done. You know, I want to finish off. Um, I want to get the doorway sorted and whatever I'm going to do out there sorted. Um, I want to get the, especially want to get this um, pub sorted out that Firebird's looking after for us. And good cat, Firebird. Yeah. Um, really want to get this sorted out, um, finished. Behind the throne, uh, get that secret room sorted. Man, I've been wanting to get this sorted out for ages. This is a pretty cool little spot down here, just to hide from people. But um, yeah, it's just so much stuff that I want to I want to get finished. You know, um, at and we sort of see. I seem to be moving on to other things. I'm like, I got so many different ideas, and I still have so many more ideas to start. So um. We will have to, probably for the next five to ten episodes, work on finishing everything, like everything that we've started here. And then after that, we will go on an epic adventure. Uh, still got to finish the farmlands, build the farmer's house, do all the walls, of course. Um, yeah, I might. Not sure whether I mentioned this in the earlier video. Oh, there's a cow out there. I might have to go get him. Um, but I'm thinking of taking this wall, instead of going straight into the side there, of maybe going around, and it will cut through the farmland, so I'll have to move that, and back into the side of the tower there, of the castle, rather. So it'll go into the wall rather than into the spire on the corner. I think, I think it'll look better, like, in that side of... Um, because I've gotten rid of the the gate that we were going to put there, um, I think it'll work pretty well. I think it'll work all right. We have to finish up the front of the castle as well and those pillars. Man, so much work to do. But I think we're going to leave the episode here. Um, it's gone pretty well so far. I think I think we've we've got quite a bit done with this um, this building. Well on the way. Uh, in the next episode, um, what we will do is, hmm, I think I'll, I'll work on, I'll get the roof done on this off camera and I'll, uh, I'll show you guys what I've got up to and do some windows off camera um, just because I don't know how exciting that would be to watch. But then, hmm, what will we do? We will uh, possibly... I'm just trying to think. There's so many things. Oh, we'll mine. We're going to mine through that mountain there. Um, I want to make the tunnel through there f uh, so we can walk all the way around um, inside our walls and then have a walkway on top of our walls. Might also finish the um, the spires for the for the guard towers at the front. Uh, that would be a, a pretty good idea. Oh, that's the other thing I needed to do. I, I kept thinking about it um, with the situation with getting... Hey, this is a pretty cool view. I like that. With getting uh, timber, like all the different timbers and that. Like Obviously, we have the forest out here, but I don't really want to cut that down because I have to regrow it. And so what I've been doing is just um, growing, <laughs> growing different trees that I've wanted. You can see a couple of uh, spruce trees, I think they are, planted down there. Like I've just been growing things around here and chopping them down and regrowing them when I need to. But um, we need a proper area to actually grow the trees. Hey, there's a brown sheep in there. That's cool. Um, so I was thinking that we will build like a, a tree farm and build it underground. Now, you might be thinking, what the, that's, that's a stupid idea, build it underground. But now, what I want to do is have like, okay, let's, let's go in here and imagine this is the space underground, except it'll be a few blocks um, higher, obviously. And uh, we'll have dirt as our floor and then have lots of torches or glowstone in between so the trees will be able to grow. I think they can grow from that unless something's changed since um, last time I did that. But um, I'll actually have to test that out and see if it works. Um, so we will grow our trees and they'll only grow so high. Like I'll put a glass block above um, the main trunk 
so they won't grow like crazy. Obviously, spruce trees are fine. They 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 don't go all crazy like oak trees do. But um, yeah, that's the plan. So we'll be able to do. I want to be able to get two stacks of sixty four from each uh, of each type of wood, like two two uh, wood blocks, not not planks, two uh, actual blocks of wood. So it's going to take quite a bit of an area to dig out which i will obviously do that off camera because that yeah that'll be boring as anything to uh watch what we will do we'll finish this episode off down in the mine um hello portal and uh i'll show you the area that i was thinking of doing this um doing this in the thing is that if we take advantage of where we dig this out, I might also find some more diamonds and gold and iron and all that good stuff and level up some more. Um, I have been trying to get another pickaxe with another fortune enchantment, but I keep getting all these uh, unbreaking and efficiency four pickaxes, which is awesome because, you know, hey, I'll take them any day of the week. But um, I really want another fortune one with just fortune uh, or fortune and... Um, where am I going? Over here. It's been a long time since we've been down here. I don't know if, when the last time I slept in here was. It's not night time. But um, the old forge room is going pretty well. I don't, nothing here. Yeah, I haven't got anything in here. It's, it's looking good. I, I, I quite like this. Um, but let's go at the back here. This has been a really long time since we've been out here. It feels like it anyway. Um, so what I was thinking was... This is where I've been like mining in the past. I haven't actually had to do a lot for a long time. I've got to clear that. I see I miscalculated something along the way here. Ended up leaving an extra space, but um, so be it. But yeah, I've found so many diamonds and I've I've had so many resources. I haven't really had to mine. So um, what I'll probably do is mine out a big chunk down here, and actually mine out everything, so that that way um, we can grow our trees down here. Hopefully. If it uh, allows us to do so. No enemies floating around down here to kill at the end. No, good, good stuff. So, um, yeah, thank you very much for joining me in this episode. Uh, I have uh, quite enjoyed getting that warehouse under construction, and hopefully it will be finished then by the next episode if I get my butt into gear. I've been a little unwell uh, fighting an infection, so I apologise for getting um, the videos up late and, and that sort of thing. But we should be back on track now. I'm feeling feeling a bit better. Uh, so, yeah, they're all good. So uh, I will catch everybody in the next episode. Catch you next time. Goodbye.